Hello, and welcome to the Kane Forensics Distro video series. In this video, we will cover how to use Kane's GUI tools to create forensically prepared media. In digital forensics, a recommended procedure is to only use forensically prepared media to store digital evidence. The steps to forensically prepare media include wiping, partitioning, and formatting the drive. We will be using the Disks utility to do this. You can access the tool from the Kane menu, and then Accessories and Disks. Make sure your destination drive is connected, and then select it from the left side of the Disks tool. Double check on the right hand side that you have the correct device by verifying the make, model, size, and serial number. Wiping the wrong disk will make for a very bad day. Next, click on the hamburger menu and select Format Disk. Once the Format Disk panel comes up, let's look at the options for Erase. There are a few choices here depending on the type of disk you've selected. You have the option for Don't Overwrite Existing Data, which is the quick format, or you have Overwrite Existing Data with Zero, which is the slow formatting, and if you have a SSD selected, then you will have a third option of ATA Secure Erase. For this example, we can just choose the overwrite existing data with zero, which is the slow formatting. Select a partitioning scheme. You have the choice of a MBR, the master boot record, or GPT, the GUID partition table. MBR is the old scheme and still in use today. Some limitations include only allowing up to four primary partitions and the support of up to two terabyte drives. GPT is the new scheme, and some prefer this especially for its data recovery abilities if the drive was to be corrupted. For the purpose of using this disk as the destination media for imaging, MBR is perfectly fine. Once the wipe has completed, you can click on the plus symbol to create a partition. By default, the tool will know the maximum amount of space available and use that. Computers are smarter than me, so I generally take their advice. For the volume name field, I recommend using the case number so it can be easily identified when this disk is plugged into your forensic workstation. For the erase option, this allows you to erase the data just for the underlying space within this partition, and there is no need to do that if we have already wiped the entire drive. For the type of file system, you have the choice for ext4, which is a standard file system for Linux. This is probably optimal for us if we are going to examine the data with a Linux workstation. You can optionally select to encrypt the data, but you should check with your own standard operating procedures on your data security policy. The second choice is NTFS, which is widely used with Windows. So choose this if you intend to perform your exam on a Windows machine. The third choice is FAT, which gives you the most portability as the disk can be read by Windows, Mac, or Linux. But there are some limitations such as file sizes that must be smaller than 4 gigs, so it's not usable for holding large raw DD files or E01 chunks greater than 2 gigs. Click on the Create button to create a file system on that partition. Notice the status on the bottom of the pop-up panel will change to reflect the file system you have chosen. Once completed, you can click on the triangle to mount that partition, or click on the minus to delete that partition. Once you have wiped, partitioned, and formatted the drive, you can verify it by physically disconnecting it and then plugging it back into your system. Here it's waiting for the physical drive to be recognized in disks. Once it is recognized, you can click on the triangle to mount the partition. You should see the disk on the desktop with the volume name we gave it. Since we used our case number, it's easily identified. Now we are ready to use our forensically prepared disk. All right. 
So that brings us to the end of this video where we use Kane's GUI tools to forensically prepare destination media. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time!